Hi, it's Dr. Brill here. Uh, it's a Sunday afternoon in Kansas City. And just was at the office seeing an emergency patient who tend to left his contacts in a little bit too long. And also has a dry eye. I thought I'd have you drive along with me. We're gonna go through uh, one of the neighborhoods here in Mission Hills and end up on the Country Club Plaza getting some coffee at Starbucks. Well, one of the emphasis of my practice over the last 34 years has been a dry eye. In fact, I don't even like calling it dry eye uh, because a lot of the times patients don't even have a dry eye. They have really an eye that is itchy or burny. It feels desert dry and you rub and rub and rub your eye. So let's get this really down here so that we can eventually get to the root cause of your dry eye and find out why this is bothering you. So I know you have questions because you probably researched this and you ended up with this video while looking up dry eye topics. Well, first of all, let's not even call it dry eye. It's the root cause usually is because of blocked oil glands. In fact, we know that 86% of the time, this is the cause, is that you have a blocked oil gland. Now, when we looked at the aisles in the pharmacy, it's interesting, there's a whole aisle of drops for uh, patients that have a dry eye, and that's the first signal, is that when there's a whole aisle of anything, like cold remedies, it means that, uh, you know, really, they don't have an answer to that. This is the first vlog, video vlog, in a series, and I'm trying to introduce the concept of dry eye to you with parotid conjunctivitis, cica, and meibomian gland dysfunction. But while this is just an introduction, I really want you to pay attention to the second vlog that's coming up after this first, and it's all about diagnosis. Too many times doctors treat things without making a diagnosis, but as you'll see, talking about dry eye, my bulimic gland dysfunction, is really important that we make a diagnosis first. And please tune in for the second vlog after this first, but let's get into it right now with an abbreviation or an acronym called SIGHT. 